Brennan, you want another shot? <laughs> and this is today's hangover. My sentences are half ass. <laughs> this, that, and that. Like, that, like they're all half ass, they're not even complete and shit. It's episode two. And we're gonna talk about. <laughs> You're thinking about it too much, too. An intro, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not even looking at me. That's why. Like, <laughs> I already started. I feel like you already started. I did already start. Right, I wasn't okay. Fuck it, let's go. You're in character? I guess. Why? It didn't seem like no. <laughs> I thought you were just talking. <laughs> huh? I was hungover for work. Hell uh, yeah, shit. <laughs> it reminds me, too, how, how you were hungover like that in camping. Oh, man. Camping was a fucking bitch, dude. I was so hungover from drinking. I don't know, you guys were like high school shots, high school shots. I was putting my mouth all over that bottle like it was a dick, dude. I, I was all over that <laughs> shit. I was all over it. And then I woke up the next morning and we were in my tent and shit. Not you and me, but I mean, <laughs> us three. I, I like doing the high school shots because it just gets everybody like... And if you don't know what a high school shot is, a high school shot is when you just go straight from the fucking bottle because obviously in high school you don't have no shot glasses, you know? <laughs> Dude, camping, look, man, I went to Kachuma Lake and to Utah to go camp. Utah, by far, is my favorite, but it was cold as fuck. It was so fucking cold, it was your fucking bitch. I'm not yawning because of your story. I'm yawning because <laughs> of yawning. <laughs> uh, dude, it was what, like fucking 14 degrees? 14 like, degrees at night? That was horrible. Dude, water freezes at 32 or 31, whatever the fuck it is. 32. We're 75% water. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? We're going to fucking die. Dude, I was so fucking cold. Even the fire, all it did was warm up my fucking feet. That's all it fucking did. And it burned my boots. I had fucking holes in the bottom of my fucking boots. That shit was fucking cold, man. I don't know, the first time I went camping, like, I was a kid, and we went with my family. And, like, my whole family went up to Asusa, and we camped by the river. And the rangers came by, and then they told us that, I guess, like, bears were around, and so it'd probably be better if we sleep in our cars and shit like that and put away our food, you know? Just because they've been around on the campgrounds. So, in Asusa, uh, like, know, river, like, yeah, by the river... So we went up to sleep in our, in our cars and shit, and I had some sandals on, and the sandals were like Velcro or whatever. And I don't know, I guess I, for some reason I didn't take off the sandals. I just kept them like on the whole time. And while I was sleeping in the car and laying down, the Velcro kept getting stuck to the fucking rug. So every time I wanted to turn around, I'd keep twisting my fucking ankle and I'd wake up <laughs> all stuck and shit. And because I was a child... I wasn't thinking, oh, yeah, take off the sandals, you know? I think I was, like, in survival mode or some shit, like, oh, well, if the bear comes in the car, you got the sandals to run and shit like that, you know? What, did that make it worse? <laughs> uh, yeah, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking pebbles all up in there and shit. <laughs> but, yeah, man. So that was fucking horrible, like, that experience, because it was, like, the first night, and they told us to go sleep in the car, and then after that, everybody was just out the fucking mood of camping. You didn't sleep Nobody in the tent? To. Mm, I think we did, like, the second night, you know? But, yeah. Man, yeah, I, well... I remember going camping as a kid, but like, no, I actually, I don't remember. If anything, I've only gone camping twice. It was Kachuma Lake and Utah. But I was so unprepared when we went to Kachuma Lake that I didn't take anything that I was supposed to take. I had a pair of shorts and a pair of pads. It gets cold at night. And it smells like afterwards if you wear the fucking pants for too long, you know? And not only that... I was with, um, uh, with, I was sharing a tent with Alan. We were in a group. Alan's part of our, like, like our friends and everything, you know? And uh, he's uh, brothers with Howell, which is another friend, which is our basically puts everything out and shit. Our but, social networking manager. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Alan puts the, the tent on a hill. A fucking slippery slope. On a fucking hill. First of all, it's on a fucking hill. And... I don't know, I was supposed to take a mattress. I don't have money to afford a fucking air mattress or whatever. So I said, fuck it. I got a sleeping bag. Sleeping bag is not cushiony at all. <laughs> it's supposed to keep you, what, warm or some shit or whatever the fuck, but that's it. I, would, I slept maybe three fucking hours the whole time I was there. Because I would fucking lay down, like, zip myself up, and then I'll, oh, 
I broke the zipper. <laughs> I broke the zipper. What dude. he's not saying is he broke the zipper of the sleeping bag in which I lent him. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did give me that. I fucked that shit up. And then I couldn't wrap myself up. And then I fucking, since we were in a fucking hill, and it's like, um, I, I guess the material of the tent and the material of the sleeping bag, I kept sliding down. <laughs> so I would wind up in the fucking corner. And I would be like, what the fuck, dude? This is so uncomfortable. Not only that, I got back problems, dude. My back was in pain. <laughs> and then, you know, when you try to sleep on the side, that shit don't work. Because all you do is have a pillow for your head, and then your ribs feel everything. Yeah. <laughs> fucking hip bone is hitting that shit hard, god damn it. Hell that yeah. shit fucking hurt, dude. I Honestly, that was the only part I hated of that camping trip. Mm-hmm. I hated that shit. And because of that, I bought a fucking air mattress. <laughs> the fucking second time I went camping. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah, when we went to Bakersfield, it was me, everybody here except uh, Milton. Yeah, but and for other Michelle, fucking which reasons. Is Noel's girlfriend. But yeah, everybody went, which is all of Maplewood, which is our neighborhood, and we all went together. Had a fucking great time. I was not sober throughout that whole freaking trip man and this was like back then where i barely smoked so throughout that whole trip i only took about like two grams with me and i was living like a fucking king and i was stoned to the bone the whole ride hey what and year was st- this i also like in high school maybe 11th grade 10th grade so like uh 2010 12. yeah 12 yeah so yeah. we stopped by mcdonald's to get breakfast i don't know if you remember that and I got myself some sausage McMuffins, but my stoned ass left my sausage McMuffins at fucking McDonald's. <laughs> because I was, I went with, uh, I drove in another car with another group of our friends. And when we stopped there, I was holding their bag. And for some reason, because my stoned ass was like, I'm holding a bag. It must be my bag as well. And Wait, I left my bag so on top you of like. Did you go to the- drive through? No, we went in, yeah, because we were all broke. No Chase Quick Pay at that time. No, nothing. <laughs> no, everybody is getting out and separate orders. God damn it, separate orders and shit. Get in line. So yeah, everybody did that, and I just left my fucking sausage McMuffin, TM, on the motherfucking, on the motherfucking fucking trash bin or some shit like that. I left it there, and everybody was eating, <laughs> and I ate nothing. You really, yeah. nobody shared with you or anything? I didn't want to ask or think or some shit. And yeah, nobody offered that? that. That's what? Fine. <laughs> I, I would have offered you, you my fucking sandwich. Huh? How far were you when you realized you didn't have your bag? Well, because the other people in front were eating their shit. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to eat mine then while you guys are waiting to eat yours. Oh. So I dipped in there and nothing in there was mine. You know? So that, that fucking sucked dick. But also without being like, I was, I was not sober throughout that whole fucking trip. <laughs> When we got there, like the first thing I did was start drinking, and then towards the end of the night, I was just so fucked up. I needed to pee, and I peed right behind my fucking tent, right behind my tent. I probably fucking raincoated the shit out of that, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! I pissed all over that. But the rest of the stuff I can't remember. No, I was fucked up throughout that whole fucking trip. It's horrible. <laughs> so the Utah trip was better. But I was fucking hung over for that trip, but the food made everything great, and the friends, you know, everything was fucking great The right food there. was fucking bomb there, man. The food was great. Y'all, you and Howell got down in that BBQ yeah. pit. The fucking, the brisket, the BBQ, BBQ <laughs> right off the fucking bone and shit. Hey, but when you're making that shit, you couldn't even Yeah, do I it, couldn't huh? even do it. Like, you know when you're so fucking hung over, you can't even hold your fucking back up. Your whole lower, your vertebrae has just given a shit, dude. It's just all over the place. Dry you can't and even, shit. Yeah, you can't. So then me and Howell are like trimming the, the fat from the brisket. And I can't even stand up straight to save my life. I got my head <laughs> pointing down. And basically, I'm a fucking hazard with that knife. <laughs> and so then I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay, don't trip Howell. Like, I got to trim as much as I can before I puke. And I wasn't going to puke all over it, so I told her, well, I'm like, sorry, I, I got to go. <laughs> so <laughs> luckily the campsite where we were at has like a spot to wash dishes and do things like trim the meat and stuff like that. So the that's where we're like at, right and the bathroom was right there. So I ran immediately to the restroom, and I saw Milton in the restroom. He's like, what's up, man? I'm like, what's up? And then I walked <laughs> he right. Say, he was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Ran right into that fucking restroom and, and yacked. 
He just started yeah, blowing chunks. I just, you know, I'm right there brushing my teeth and shit. It was horrible, man. Oh my god. I'm brushing my teeth. Like, What's up, Brad? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> just kick the door oh, open. Man. <gasps> fucking a hangover at a camping trip is the fucking worst, dude. The worst. But dude. I felt better after I showered. Oh, after, yeah. uh, after I showered, I felt immediately better. Uh, dude, do you remember the showers there too? The fucking lotion water? Yeah, the fucking... Uh, you know where you fucking shower and The shit? water had algae in it. That's <laughs> the end. The water, the, water was, the water was from the lake around there, and it was algae-filled water. It was Utah spring water. That, that shit was Utah spring I water. I kept putting a fucking soap and wiping it off, and I was like, this shit's not coming off, man. But fucking skin felt all gooey and shit. I was like, ooh. And then not only that, I didn't know how to use the shower. I don't know if you remember, but oh, yeah. I was like, my, my water's running out. I was like, what the fuck? What do you do? And he was like, you just pull it. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like twisting and shit, getting burning and like sprinkles and fucking water and shit. Dude, that shit was... One thing I hated about the showers too is that, you know, the shower is just like shared with everybody. It's an individual stall, but it's shared with everybody... And, you know, you can't, you don't, obviously, you don't want to see your friends, but you can't see your friends. And I'm like, has anybody left yet? And nobody said anything. And I just want to scream like, hey, <laughs> in, the, in, in the restroom stalls, but what if I just hear, hey. <laughs> and they think it's time, you know, it's glory hole time. And I'm not with it. I'm not with it. Glory hole time. I'm not with it. Yeah. <laughs> Sit the Dukes of Hazard or some shit. I'm not out there. Oh. Yeah, man. You know, like, um, I've only been to uh, Kachuma and to fucking uh, Utah, mm -hmm. but that's for, like, like camping and shit, you know? But we also went to New York. Oh, yeah. And, dude, I don't know if you remember that shit, but New York was fucking dope. The plane ride over there, what we had fucking TV, so I was good. I was good, too, but I was a little upset when we found out we weren't sitting next to each other. Because <laughs> no, I don't know how that shit works. What if I dude? sleep on some random guy's shoulder? We had bought the tickets. At least with Milton, we could sleep on each other's shoulder. <laughs> I had, like, the, the uh, uh, one dude next to me that couldn't stop asking for a motherfucking Bloody Mary. He kept asking He was asking hammered for on the plane. Shit, dude, he was probably, can you get a Bloody Mary? Can't. And you know what? He never got that shit. No. Yeah, he never hammered. got that. Yeah. Cutting you off, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Cut him they off. cut him off. They cut his ass off. They saw him. They're like, "Hey, him, I'll Dude, be." But no. we got there so fucking early. I remember when we like got taxi and everything to go to the hotel. I was so exhausted. Getting on a plane rides fucking sucks for hours and shit. That shit gets me tired as fuck. But going, I remember when uh, the guy told us like, "Oh, your check in is at 11. It was like six in the fucking morning. <laughs> I was like, I want early chicken. I don't care how much it is, just fucking boom. And we were supposed to bounce and go see. I was just like, let's take a nap. We we're going to kick it like Tom Hanks in yeah, Terminal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were just going to be chilling the whole time in the like, airport. Nah, I had my bags shit, in there. Dude. I was like, fuck that, nerd. I don't care how much it is. I'll pay for it, Brandon. Mm -hmm. Don't even trip. I... I'm going to sleep. And I'm not going to lie. This trip was like, I kind of just tagged along with Milton. Not, he invited me, but I had like no planning to do with it. Like, it's I didn't even know where we were. I knew where we were staying, but I didn't know where we were staying. I didn't know no confirmation number, no none of that shit. I was, I was like, <laughs> but I, was, I was behind his back. I was like, dude, I'm with it because I don't want to be walking around with my fucking bags. That says tourist all over you. That's tourist all over you. That's, you know, fuck. Get out of my way, man. You know, it's find somewhere I was like, shit. no matter what, I was going to go to fucking New York because I wanted to go to the East Coast. Mm -hmm. And when I told Brandon, I'm like, you down to go? He's like, oh, I thought you would never ask. You know, like, fuck it. And then even then, I got the tickets and everything. He just gave him the money and shit or whatever. We got the tickets and everything. And he didn't know shit until we got there. Yeah. You know? But he, if anything, we did more stuff because of him. You know? Because <laughs> even, like, to try the coffee and everything, I don't know. The first thing we did when we woke up, we went to get coffee. And we went to fucking, um, I think it was, what was it called? The Mill? The or Mill, the yeah. Mill, the right? Mill. The it was mill. called The Mill. It's a really good and, coffee uh, shop. He, so, so he works with coffee and shit. So I told him, Brandon, just get me like whatever you're going to get. Because I, I don't know what the fuck to order. Got a couple you shots know? of espresso. Yeah. And then I'm like, get, get me what you get me, right? So he pays and everything. I'm like, here's money. So he goes, he goes to pay, right? And while he's paid... I don't know what the fuck went through his I mind. I spaced out. <laughs> he fucking grabs the tip jar. And he starts walking away. And let me tell you something. This is New York. People on the East Coast do not play. And they I look at him and he gives play. me the fucking face of like, what did I just do? 
And he goes, oh, shit. And he puts it back. And I was like, what the fuck is that? He's like, I don't know what happened. I don't know why I did that. Let's you know don't. how scared I was that I wanted to tell him, like, I'm so sorry I did that, man. Even though they didn't even notice that I did that. I was like, I'm so sorry. That I, I'm so sorry about that. But so the guy in the back saw that shit. I'm like, hey, man, fucking guy over there. <laughs> the fucking tip jar. What the fuck was that about? Dude, you see him take something? I don't even know what went through your mind when you did that. Like, well, it's because I was going to tip them. And then I said, no, you should be tipping me. <laughs> and I took the job. <laughs> no, no, so I don't know. I was going to tip them. And then for some reason, I spaced out. And I didn't even have the money in my hand that I was going to tip. I just put the jar. Gra- he didn't even grab it. Like, I just told him, all right, now he tip He grabbed them, it like a cup. Yeah. And just like, oh, shit. <laughs> exactly. Mm. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what the fuck? And then we took the, the fucking train. And the train was fucking weird as fuck it's not like over here in la it's not like the red line blue line it has a abc line wxyz or whatever the fuck and i was just like dude we're probably gonna i don't know where the fuck we're going but let's just hope we get to the right place and, and we took that shit dude we didn't know nothing about where we were going because our asses remember when we went to grand central park we went to grand central park we're like cool we're gonna walk this whole motherfucking <laughs> oh hell no, 20 acres shit. and shit and we're gonna walk this whole fucking thing we didn't know how big it was, so we're walking in the middle of Grand Central Park, and it <laughs> like feels like we've hour. been there for like fucking, fucking twenty kilometers or some shit. Like that. <laughs> and we've been over there for like goddamn who knows how long, and we're like, cool, let's see how far we've gotten. We should be done right now. It was Motherfucker, like we are a 10, quarter of the way of that shit. It was dude. like ten to fifty percent of the park. Hell no, we, we saw the first exit and went out that bitch. Not we weren't that, even nowhere near not, that shit, dude. Not only that, dude. I went think it was in the fall. I'm thinking it's gonna be cold as shit. Mm-hmm. It was not cold as shit. You got shit. some of that famous New York humidity right there, you know? I was sweating oh, yeah. with my leather jacket on, and it felt so embarrassing. that I'm pretty sure people care because I took Taurus. that shit off. It's a Taurus. I keep wiping my head, and I'm like, oh, and Betty looking at me in disgust, like, ugh, gordito. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? I was like, dude, this is some bullshit. I am never wearing this fucking jacket again. Oh, my God. Then New York traffic is fucking crazy, too, man. Oh. We had to cross the fucking street in a panic. They don't, and let they me don't, tell you something. They don't believe Even the fucking red lights. That shit said that it was my right-of-way, and nobody acted like it was my fucking right-of-way. People just kept going through, but I saw a Walkman on the fucking light. That meant for me, <laughs> dude. You, I've been around long enough, all right? I've been around long enough. And Milton ran across the street, and I was going to run right behind him, but then the fucking car was coming fast as fuck, and I have been that, hit by a car. That, that, I have been hit by a car. <laughs> legit. I flew. I flew, and I have been I hit, almost got hit by, by a fucking, fucking car. car. And so then I just bitched out, went right back. <laughs> he was on this like, other side. He was like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> And so I had to catch my shit, and in New York, that traffic is just fucking constant. There is no, like, okay, right now it's going to quiet down and shit. (laughs) That shit just kept fucking going. So, and I had boots on, I think, so, and I don't tie my boots, so I could (laughs) have twisted an ankle or some shit. (laughs) I almost got hit by a fucking car, because these motherfucking New Yorkers don't believe in red lights. They cross whenever the fuck they want. They're on their phone, or they're not on their phone, but they're not focusing, and I was focusing, and I said, you know what? I'm act like a New Yorker. I'm across this motherfucking way, <laughs> and the fucking traffic starts coming, and I was get fucking hit. And fucking Brandon stayed. I was just like, oh, dude, I thought you were right there behind me. I definitely would need ass, about dude. three to five years to actually learn how the system works in New York and shit. It's so much fucking dude, different out there. And I saw a guy jaywalk in front of a cop. Cop didn't do shit. God, they don't cop didn't do shit. Like, I don't got Is that even a law here? Is that even a law here? <laughs> they don't really I want to tell him, like, hey, sir. Did you see that? Is that legal here? You guys do that? You guys do that? Do you do that? All right. Like, you know, fucking shit, man. Oh, my God. But, like, my night life in New York, I could only remember the second night. (laughs) Because the first half, I got fucked up. It's because we were in bar hopping. And for those who don't know. What area did you guys stay in? Milton knows that. (laughs) We stayed in Queens. But we were mostly we were mostly in Manhattan. Yeah. We, were, we stayed in Queens, but we were mostly in, in Manhattan. And the first night we decided to bar hop. How far is that? Well, like fucking in the train, it took us like ten minutes. I think. Yeah, it was actually really fast. During yeah. that bar hopping too, the second bar that we went to. So all right, so we first get to New York. Our first <laughs> thing is all right. We go to sleep. We get out. Let's go walk out and about. Do the coffee thing. 
coffee is a natural natural oh, the food thing yeah too. coffee yeah, is a natural food. laxative you know so i drink coffee early in the fucking morning the second spot we're out in the fucking city pizza of course new york let's get some fucking pizza we eat some fucking pizza and shit which is bomb as fuck still hadn't been home still hadn't been anywhere else just walking bomb around letting fuck. that fucking hot dairy cheese just cooking my fucking stomach the whole time oh, that lactose you got so the then lactose we start squirts. bar hopping and shit we get to the second bar and i'm like milton i cannot do this no more i gotta go use it and fucking New York is like, I guess you say like an old city. So they got a lot of old things, you like know, like some of their fucking shit. doorways aren't, you know, made for taller people of today and things like that. <laughs> so I go and I use their restroom and the stall for the restroom toilet to like, you know, take a shit in is a fucking saloon door. You know what I mean? It's a fucking winging door. It's like the old Western days. And it's there. not a winging door from like, from the floor all the way to where the thing ends. That shit started at the middle, okay? And I'm a tall person. So no, get this. I sit down. You can see my half. You just can't see who's there, but you can see from thigh, from thigh down. You can see my hairy ingrown hairs all <laughs> over my motherfucking thighs and shit. And my white high socks, my Nikes right there and shit. You can see everything. You just can't see my face. So I could hide the shame only for so long, you know? And I, I said, you know what, fuck it. And I thought, what would my brother do in this situation? And for those who don't know, my brother doesn't give a fuck. In high school, he literally shat in every fucking restroom in that school. So I thought, you know what, if he could do it, I could do it. And I had it in me and I just let all that shit go. <laughs> all that shit go. But I was very scared because I'm like, dude, what if somebody comes in and they see me right hey, now? Hey, nobody walked in, huh? Nobody walked in. Thank fucking God, man. Thank God. Because <laughs> I would have stayed in there till they left. And they would have sucked if they wanted to use that stall. I would have never left that fucking stall. <laughs> dude, we went bar hopping. We went like to fucking 13, 14 bars. And, and I remember, because he said one thing, he said, I'm having one drink at each, each bar. bar. At each bar. <laughs> at each bar. And he said, a beer at each bar. A beer, not even liquor. Me, I was having like two or three in each one, you know, getting yeah. some fucking whiskey in me, maybe tequila, whatever. And towards the end, I kept asking him like, hey, are you good? Are you good? He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. You know, like the last couple, I'm like, all right, you're keeping up and shit, you know? But then towards the, like the last one, like, there was this place. I forgot the name of the place. Do you remember the name of the place? What? The Penrose? No, 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 no. Not that part. When you were saying, uh, oh, this place sells gelato. Or, oh, no, 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 I didn't remember no, that he, place. He kept saying they, they sell, sell pork, pork chops. chops. <laughs> they sell pork chops. He kept saying they sell pork chops. I could have sworn and I, I saw him, somebody dude, like on no, the Food Channel say something like and that. And he's like, yeah, that's the name. That's the name. I'm like, Brandon. And right here, I'm like, oh, he's drunk. <laughs> and I'm like... It, it, they don't say, it says gelato in the bottom. That's ice cream or some shit. He's like, nah, I'm telling you, I saw it on, on TV. They, they fucking have motherfucking pork chops. And then we go, I'm like, all right, let's get some fucking pork chops in. <laughs> so we go, <laughs> start looking through the window. And he goes, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> Got no one to admit defeat. <laughs> I could have sworn I saw that shit and like, Fucking travel channel, Anthony Bourdain, rest in peace type shit. Like, you know what I mean? It's all over the place. Like, we were there. I was like, they don't, I told you it was July. He was like, it's probably a different name. <laughs> and we still decided to go to another fucking bar. And then the guy, he still stuck to beer the whole time, though, you know? And then the guy there that was serving us, I guess he noticed, like, something different be uh, about us or whatever. And he decides to say, like, oh, where are you guys from? Where are you guys from? So I'm like, oh, from Los Angeles. He was like, oh, you can tell. And then, like, Brandon started going, like, yeah, this guy is cool and all this <laughs> shit, right? And I'm like, oh, he's fucked up. All we were doing is drinking some spicy ass micheladas. Yeah, dude. Like, it hurt your fucking throat. Yeah, yeah. That's how spicy it was. And he hooks us up with shots. Talking about they use salsa for that michelada. Like, I'm talking about they hooked us up with, like, four shots that we didn't pay for. He only charged us for the micheladas. And he gave us four shots. Mm. And the first shot we took, I saw Brandon say, I'm down on you. This is it. <laughs> this is a blackout right here. And he takes it. And he's like, oh, I'm down for another one. You know? And they brought him three more and everything. We got like, you know, but I'm still like, you know, I'm still good. I can handle more. Brandon started going, and, uh, you know, that little thing he does or whatever. And I'm like, oh, no, he's fucked up. So I'm like, we got to fucking bounce. I got to get him to the hotel. 
You know, and all that shit, right? I don't remember any of this, by the <laughs> He way. doesn't. We leave. It starts raining. He starts taking pictures. All the pictures he oh, took. Oh, I remember the rain a little bit by like a glimpse. <laughs> like a glimpse. All, if you notice, all the pictures that he took of New York, he's serious the whole time. Throwing like the gangster face <laughs> or whatever the fuck. All the ones when we're drunk, he's smiling like a big old smile. <laughs> and we started walking. I'm like, all right, Brandon. We're not going to take the fucking train. Hang on. I don't know how to take the train. We're going to get a, a cab, and we're going to go all the way to the hotel. I already got the address and everything. Let's go. All he heard was train. <laughs> all that popped in his head was train. Because I started walking, and now I'm like, oh, there's a cab. And I run to the cab. I'm like, taxi. You know? And I stop, and I look back. He is gone. He is fucking gone. And I am like, holy shit. I lost my friend. <laughs> my fucking battery's at 3%. And I'm like, Wilson! <laughs> I'm like, where the fuck did he go? Uh, I start looking around and I see him come out of the train station. <laughs> and he has like the panic look on his face and shit. He's just like, oh no, where's Milton? <laughs> I lost my travel buddy. I don't know where the hotel is. I don't know anything. Any I see him shit. and I whistle and I'm like, "Gay, hey, what the fuck? And he starts, he starts running to me and he starts, he's like, why the fuck did you leave me? It was his fault, god damn it. I'm like, leave me, what the fuck? Where are you going? You said we were taking the train, you fucking lying piece of shit. <laughs> I stuck him in the cab and in the cab he starts knocking out and I'm like, hey, Wake the fuck up. I am not going to carry your fucking ass <laughs> out. Oh, He's like, oh, I'm away. I'm away. Starts recording. Ah! <laughs> he was so fucked up. We got to the hotel that day, that night. And I'm like, dude, I'm still hungry. He's like, you want to order room service? Give me some pancakes. I'm like, okay, I'll get you some pancakes. I'm going to shower the a fucking shower. Come out. He's knocked the fuck out. Out. I was like, oh, my God, dude. Well, room service was closed anyway. Well, he didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but he was like, I want to be some fucking pancakes, you know? <laughs> shit, dude. He was, you blacked out. Huh? Like, yeah, you oh, yeah. Any I, of that shit? Well, I remember, like, I, glimpses. I remember the rain. I kind of remember when we went. I remember the spicy michelada. Wasn't one of the shots that we had, like, a tamarindo shot or something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had was. the tamarindo shot. I remember, so get this. So we're at the bar. And we're at this bar that's a, it's a LA theme bar, I guess, or some shit. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at the beers and Lagunitas, I love their beer. And so I see their beer and it says 12th Avenue beer. I'm like, wow, I haven't heard of that one. Let me get that fucking this beer. This is a LA bar? Yeah, that LA. This is an LA theme bar, right? Yeah, LA theme bar. Yeah. So I'm like, wow, let me <laughs> get that beer. I haven't heard of that. Cool, I'm so excited. I buy my $8 beer and shit. I got a Guinness. They bring me a tall boy of Lagunitas beer that I drink every day. Well, the fuck, not every day. <laughs> <laughs> but I drink all the time a basic ass 7-Eleven fucking tall boy Lagunitas beer. <laughs> it was the same one you get at 7-Eleven. It's the same one I get in Los Angeles every fucking time. You were so dude. excited. You yeah. said, what the like, fuck is this? Tried this shit. <laughs> never tried it. Never tried it. Oh, man. Well, he, he was blacked out that oh, day. Yeah, yeah, I remember I did. He was, like, but Luckily, I, I woke up with no hangover, though. That's fucking great. Cause I oh, I know, because we went out on the yeah, park the next day. Yeah, we went the next day, day like nothing. Yeah, like yeah, nothing. And um, you know what? It was fucking cold that day. Yeah, I decided that day was not to wear the leather shit. jacket. It went from humidity to cold as fuck. And I was not wearing my... I was so fucking cold, dude. I was so, that stupid ass jacket that I had, I wish I had it that day, and vice versa, because the other one was real like, oh, it's a mellow day, but I was cold as shit, it was windy as fuck, but I remember blacking out uh, over here in LA, uh, but this is younger days and shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> these are these are drunk ass moments I had, and this is the day when I fucking uh, played King's Cup. Mm -hmm. uh, this is at the time I was with this girl named Jay, let me just call her Jay, mm -hmm. And I had never played King's Cup at all. And all they had, I didn't know that you could put soda or fucking Gatorade or juice in a cup. You could put whatever you want in the cup. You decide, like, you know, with certain rules or whatever. That cup, all it had was fucking Jack Daniels and Patron. That is a bad fucking mix, dude. And you know who got the King's Cup? Me. I got the fucking King's Cup. Your boy, Milton. Dude, <laughs> guess what I did? Guess boy. what this trooper did? This motherfucker drank the cup. 
I drank the whole fucking cup down to the bottom. I almost threw up, but I handled it. And I was just like, that wasn't that bad. That was probably, what, like four or five shots? <laughs> Come on, man. That ain't shit to me. That ain't shit to me. Then someone says, you want a cigarette? Let's go outside. Oh, shit. There it is. The lightheadedness from the cigarette, Dude, right? No, I went right outside and I didn't even have shoes on. Oh, the air. And I blacked out, but from what I, what people told me or what I remember, it was like a couple of people telling me, I fucking got driven home. And, oh, first of all, someone called me, something about my grandma was sick. And it was, it was like a little, like, a, look, nothing bad. All right, nothing bad. But I started crying. I was like, my grandma's gonna <laughs> die. You motherfuckers and all this shit. And they took my ass home. And I thought I drove home, but I didn't. And they left my car there. And I get home and I'm like, all right. All I remember is walking in, going to the bathroom. I pee and I went to sleep. And I woke up and I was like, damn, I'm still fucked up and everything. And then I found out what really happened. Dude, I went in. I dropped a couple things. I walk into the room and I didn't go to the bathroom. I stayed in the fucking room and I go to the corner of the room and Andy, my little brother that we, we share, we share a room. I go to his side and I start pissing all over his fucking clothes. <laughs> I was like, and he told me too, he hit me up. He was like, you owe me some new clothes. Like, you motherfucker. I started pissing on this fucking, uh, what's that shit called? A hamper? Yeah. Or whatever the fuck. I started pissing all over that. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I pee there. And he said that I went to his bed. And I said that I was laying on his bed. He was like, get the fuck out. Go to your bed and shit. I'm like, well, why are you here? Why are you in this room? Or like, shit like, oh, why are you in the bathroom? And then I went to the bathroom to go pee again. How, how much fucking pee do I have? <laughs> like, what the fuck? And then I finally went back to bed, and then the next day I was like wondering why it fucking smelled like shit in the fucking room. Oh man, I had to clean that shit it up. Smelled like ammonia. In and I, I, dude, I had to clean it up, drunk as fuck, and I walked all the way. It was about from how long, how far is it from fucking Maplewood to fucking Olympic and and La Brea? Two point five. Well, I walked all that shit to go get my fucking car. Yeah. It doesn't seem that bad. It felt like 10. It feels like 10 when you're fucked up. But I remember, that's one of the times I blacked out when I was fucking fucked up. I didn't black out right here, but one time I had just finished eating and we were with your cousin, um, Christopher. And so then we were had just finished eating. Well, I had just finished eating. Wait, we were at his house? Yeah. No? yeah well, we were at your cousin Christopher's house mm -hmm. and he had some shots. I don't know what it was. Maybe whiskey, maybe tequila, whatever. But I'm not the best at shots and there was no chaser. I'm pretty good at that. I had just ate. Let me remind you. I just freaking ate. He's like, let's take a shot. Cool. I take a shot. About five seconds later, I'm in his sink just fucking puking my ass off, man. Oh, oh that was a shellfish yeah. and shit. Yeah. Oh, that was disgusting, man. That shit was fucking... I was there, huh? Yeah, dude. I fucking threw up shrimp cocktail. Oh, man. It's horrible. <laughs> That's just fucking disgusting. gross. Dude, dude disgusting. Another... I told you this, too. It was with that same, it was with that same girl Jay. Mm -hmm. I feel like this bitch is bad luck or some shit. God damn it! <laughs> but I blacked out this day too. And this day we were drinking uh, just Jack Daniels. You know when you're younger and you're poor, you just could afford the cheap shit. So you get Jack, put that shit in a water bottle. You know, high school shit or whatever. We go to fucking Venice Beach, and I don't know why everybody's just chit chatting. I was with this girl named D and uh, my homie named Marvin. And um, they're just like, you know, uh, we've all known each other since we were younger and shit. Well, D knew Joe, Jay from fucking um, younger days, and I knew Marvin uh, from, like, younger days, too. And we were just, you know, couple and couple, you know? So we're going down, and I don't know why the fuck I'm the only one sipping on the fucking bottle. And then next thing you know, I finished the bottle, and I never passed it around. I never passed that shit around. So I was like... I'm feeling kind of like fucked up, but I'm, I'm okay. And then they're like, oh, let me get a shot. And I give him the bottle, and I'm like, there's only a little bit left. And he was like, what the fuck? That shit was full. What happened? I killed the whole thing. The whole fucking thing. And you know, as soon as they said that, that shit hit me. And from what they told me, because I blacked out here too, is that I went to the bathroom. I don't know if y'all been to Venice, but in Venice, 
the doors in the bathroom open both ways, like a like a you know like all that shit. And I didn't lock the door. So when I was peeing, and you know when you're peeing and shit, and you do a little stumble, you know a little yes, backwards yeah. stumble, you know, and catch yourself and you come back. So I was like, oh, I just lean on the wall. I mean on the door. So I lean on the fucking door and that shit opened wide open. I didn't lock it. So I fucking fell off and peace flying all over the place and my dick is out and everything and I fall in broad daylight in the middle of fucking Venice with my dick out and everything and my head just smacked the floor and I just stayed there. Fucking all of Venice Beach saw my penis that day and the girl Jay fucking runs over to me and tucks it back in and everything, zips me up and they lift me up and shit and I don't know what the fuck happened afterwards but they were mad at me. I woke up in a car behind my old elementary school. How the fuck does that happen? <laughs> Until this day, I really don't remember what happened. They just told me like, like they were mad and that I was acting stupid as fuck. I mean, what the fuck do you expect? I drank a bottle of Jack Daniels. Like, what the fuck? Dude, I was so fucking, ugh. And <laughs> with the Jack, I, that's why I don't drink Jack anymore. Jack got me bad, dude. And I, I've told you this before. I used to drink a lot with this girl, and it's always with this girl. But I was at her house once, and we were doing things, we were getting, doing the nasty and shit, and we drank uh, also a bottle of Jack. And I had finished like a fucking bottle, and fucking, I was like, we weren't asleep, and I was like, okay, I need to take a, a shit. So then I go to the bathroom, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna take a shit. I take a dump, I'm sitting there just chilling, and I fell asleep. And I fucking woke up. And I had to not wipe my ass. It was already like fucking four hours afterwards, dude. It was fucking four hours afterwards. I had crusty ass caca in my fucking butt. From the butt cheeks into the anal. And like, I was like, what the fuck happened? I'm going to do some more walking. I'm passed out in the shitter. Like, with shit on my ass. You, look, you have to wet the napkin. Oh, up. yeah. You got to get a damp. Oh. Dude, I pulled so many fucking hairs out of my ass. Nah, Dude. man. Well, like one time when uh, James's parents were still living here, <laughs> they uh, they went to Honduras, and so we had the apartment. Well, he had the apartment to himself. I'm saying we, like if I lived here, but we had he had the apartment to himself. So of course, what are teenagers gonna do at that time? Get fucked up. I get. Fucking hammered. And let me tell you something. I was supposed to meet up with my dad for breakfast the next day. And I was supposed to meet my sister for the first time. <laughs> I straight up above the influence commercial her ass, dude. I fucking... <laughs> Joshua wakes me up fucking nine in the morning. Probably had like three missed calls from my dad already. And he's like, Brandon, what the fuck? I'm like, what? You pissed all over James' floor. <laughs> that was that night. That was that night. Wait, how did he feel it though? Did he step on it? He probably stepped on it with a wet sock or some shit. And James, <laughs> didn't have a, James didn't have a dog at the time. So, you know, there was like, yeah. So he stepped on it. And I think he was just like, yo, what the fuck? And so I pissed all over the floor. And not pissed like, oh, yeah, I need to use the restroom. And I aim for the floor. I straight up toddler myself and went all over my pants. All right. All right. So, pissed everywhere. And when he woke me up, I was still drunk, so I couldn't even stand up straight. And I was out there on my knees, wobbling still. And I was like, oh, whatever. And I went back to sleep. <laughs> and luckily, my brother cleaned it up. He cleaned it up? Yeah, he did. Oh, that's so cool, yeah. man. My little brother just told me to clean it up. So, he cleaned it up. And I missed meeting my sister for the first time. But I met her at night. And it was all cleared out. <laughs> and the and the all the pier was dried up. And James's parents suspected nothing. <laughs> James was there when I, when I got caught, um, uh, when I was like 15 or 16, I think. And we had, this, this is before we knew about alcohol. And we bought a bottle of Grey Goose. We all pitched in. And then nobody wanted to drink it. And then it was like fucking two years. They were like, this is fucking gross. This is fucking disgusting. So I went, I'll drink it. Here we go. Milton being a fucking idiot. And I drank that fucking bottle. And then we played. This rock band was still lit. 
You know what I mean? We played rock band, and I was like, I'm the singer. Of course I want to sing. God damn it. I start slurring all those fucking words, and everyone noticed how fucked up I was. Dude, I fucking, I remember walking out just to get an air breather, and I fucking fell on the stairs. And then I hear James telling me, like, your mom's coming, your mom's coming, your mom's coming. And I get the fuck out, I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. And he, I run inside, threw water in my face, slap my face and everything. I'm like, I'm good, right? And he's like, nah, man, you're not good. <laughs> and he's like, you're not. And you hear, Junior, that's what they call me. You know? And I'm like, oh, here we go. Walk out, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> my mom's looking at me, come over here. And I'm like, what, I'm, what? And then she's like, blow, like, you know, like blow on her face. So I blow and she's like, get upstairs. And I was like, I don't know why she's tripping. <laughs> so I go up the stairs. I'm like, you know when you try to play it off and you run? I fucking fell and ate shit in front of her. I try to get back up and then she started hitting me. I knew you were drunk and all this bullshit. Go to the room and all this shit. I was like, what the? So I go to the fucking room and I'm still trying to like act normal, play it off and shit. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, all right, time to fucking act right now you know you gotta fucking act your ass off my mom comes in starts talking shit i'm like what what, what are you talking about he's like you're fucked up I'm like, you know what well how come johnny gets to drink she's like he's 21 you're not you're a kid and all this shit and i'm like fuck dude like oh she got me there you know so i'm like well how come your boyfriend gets a laptop and i can't get one i was bringing up random ass shit dude how come you never took me to disneyland enough <laughs> And then, at this time, my, my parents are separated. So she goes like, you need to call your dad, and you need to tell him what you did. And I was like, oh, fuck, dude. And my dad was like, at the time, was a hard ass and shit. So I'm like, fuck, here we go. So I call him. It was like New Year's Eve. And I'm like, and then my, my dad answered. He goes like, que paso, blah, blah. And I'm like, dad, I need to tell you something. He's like, que paso, happy New Year. Blah. I'm like, yeah, happy New Year. I'm I'm fucked up. I'm drunk. And he goes like, ah, nah, mijo. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to smile so bad, but I held it in. And I'm like, okay, dad. We'll talk tomorrow. <laughs> and I hung up. And I was like, what did he say? He said, like, he yelled at me. <laughs> he said he's going to talk to me tomorrow. <laughs> The next day I go to his house, this motherfucker drunk as hell, still and shit. He goes like, there's soup, that's good for hangovers. <laughs> I was like, in your face, in your face. Oh, man. So we're going to wrap up with episode two today. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys liked it. Episode Deutsch. Make sure episode you Deutsch. follow Happy 2020 West Coast. Mm -hmm. And we out. <laughs>